I also happen to know that in my situation, the Treasury Department from the state of Michigan also put their two cents worth in when they should have stayed out of it. Because I was charged for a driver responsibility fee, I made payment arrangements and then they got really nasty with me and garnished my check after I have, and I have documentation to all of that. So I'm really curious as to see what these guys are going to come up with for that as an excuse. Hmm. Let's see. They also took money back from me that they had given me in a tax return. They made me pay it back through my taxes. And they garnished, they either garnished my check or took it out of my taxes. One way or another, they, they took it from me. After they had awarded it to me, and I was give, it, it was awarded to me, honestly. So, you know, these are red flags that, that you're being picked with within the government, just so that you're aware. I saw it, but I couldn't do anything about it. The, anytime a government agency calls and harasses you about a, uh, about money that you owe, that's a red flag. They're not allowed to do that. They're allowed to contact you, but they're not allowed to harass you. And they're not allowed to change a payment arrangement after you've already made um, arrangements to have a, a, a bill with uh, the state or federal agencies um, paid. Just remember that when you're dealing with these guys, they will also never call your phone unless it's with caller ID, you can tell. And be careful with spoofing because they have a lot of scammers that do that too. Have a blessed day.